On April 26, 1986, there was one of the worst accidents in the history of nuclear power, which contributed greatly to the collapse of the USSR. It is not a coincidence that many authors of films and science fiction books link the accident's departure with the reason for the preservation of the USSR. It is unprovable, but the accident itself still arouses a lot of interest. Background and Causes The VI Lenin Chernobyl nuclear power plant is located in Ukraine, 3 kilometers from the city of Pripyat, 18 kilometers from the city of Chernobyl, 16 kilometers from the border with Belarus, and 110 kilometers from Kiev. It had four power units with RBMK-1000 reactors, each with a thermal capacity of 3,200 megawatts. Two more similar units were under construction, the fifth was 80% ready. A pit had been dug for the sixth one. CHNPP produced approximately one-tenth of the electrical power of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. On April 25, 1986 it was scheduled to shut down the fourth unit of Chernobyl nuclear power plant for the next scheduled preventive maintenance. The purpose of the shutdown was to test the runaway rotor of the turbine generator mode. The mode would have allowed using the kinetic energy stored in the rotating rotor of the turbine generator to supply power to pumps in the event of a power outage for the plant's own needs. But, this mode has not been tested or implemented at NPPs with RBMK. That was already the fourth test of the mode at CHNPP. All of them ended with no results. Tests were to have been done on April 25, 1986 at 700 to 1000 megawatts, thermal, 22 to 31 percent of full power. As a result, there was an explosion at the Chernobyl No. 4 reactor, and several hundred workers and firefighters tried to put out the fire that had been burning for 10 days. A cloud of radiation enveloped the world. About 50 plant employees were killed and hundreds of rescuers were injured at the time. It is still difficult to determine the scale of the disaster and its impact on human health only from 4 to 200,000 people died of cancer developed as a result of the radiation doses received. Pripyat and the surrounding areas will not be safe for human habitation for several centuries to come. One of the scary signs of that time was people with a nuclear tan. Those who were unlucky enough to catch a large dose of radiation wondered why their skin suddenly turned brown, even under their clothes. The body was already damaged by the intense radiation. Not everyone guessed about the danger, on the day of the accident, many people sunbathed on rooftops and on the river near the plant on purpose, and the sun intensified the effects of radiation. According to an eyewitness, Metalev, our neighbor, climbed on the roof at 11 o'clock and sunbathed in his swimsuit. Then he went down for a drink once, saying that the tan was getting on really well today. It's very invigorating, as if you'd had a hundred grams. Besides, from the roof I could see the reactor burning. The air at that time was up to 1,000 millibars per hour. Plutonium, cesium, strontium. And even iodine-131. But we didn't know that at the time. By the evening our neighbor, sunbathing on the roof, started vomiting and was taken to the medical center, then further, to Kiev. And still nobody bothered, maybe the guy overheated. It happens. Doctors who received the first irradiated people determined the most injured by the nuclear tan. Invisible death. The accident at Chernobyl took everyone by surprise. No one really knew how to react to a disaster of such magnitude. Not only did the authorities withhold complete information, but they themselves were unable to quickly and adequately assess the situation. There was no system in the country that would track real-time information on the radiation background over vast territories. Therefore, in the first days after the accident people already in the affected area were not yet aware of the danger. From an eyewitness account, April 26 was a day like a day in Pripyat. I woke up early, warm sunlight on the floor, blue sky in the windows. I felt good. I went out on a balcony for a smoke. The street was already full of kids, the kids were playing in the sand and the older ones were riding their bikes. By lunchtime, the mood had become quite cheerful. And the air felt sharper. Metal is not metal in the air, something sour, as if you were holding an alarm clock battery in your cheek. 
From an eyewitness account, a group of neighborhood kids rode their bikes up to the bridge where the emergency unit was clearly visible, they wanted to see what was burning at the plant. All those kids then got severe radiation sickness. The first brief official announcement of the emergency was made on April 28. As Mikhail Gorbachev later explained, it was decided not to cancel May Day demonstrations in Kiev and other cities because the country's leadership did not have a full picture of what happened and feared panic. People with balloons and carnations walked in the radioactive rain. Only on May 14 did the country learn about the true scale of the disaster. The death of the first firefighters. Even the firefighters who were the first to arrive on the scene were unaware of the seriousness of the emergency at Unit 4. They had no idea that the smoke rising above the burning reactor was extremely dangerous. They were walking to their deaths without realizing it. The radiation power from the core debris was about 1,000 X-rays per hour, with a lethal dose of 50. The firefighters felt bad almost immediately, but they put it down to the smoke and high temperature, no one thought about radiation. But then they began to lose consciousness. When the first group of victims was delivered to the medical center in Pripyat, they had a very strong nuclear tan, swelling and burns, vomiting, weakness. Almost all of the first liquidators died. The heroes had to be buried in sealed coffins under concrete slabs, their bodies were so radioactive. To peek into the reactor throat. Immediately after the explosion, the workers did not understand what had happened. It was necessary to find the place of the accident and assess the damage. Two engineers were sent to the reactor hall. Unaware of the danger, they approached the site of the explosion and saw red and blue flames pouring out of the reactor vent. People were not wearing respirators or protective clothing, but they wouldn't have helped either radiation reached 30,000 x-rays per hour. It burned their eyelids, throat, and took their breath away. A few minutes later, they returned to the control room, but they were already tanned, as if they had fried on the beach for a month. Both soon died in the hospital. But their story that the reactor was gone was not believed at first. And only later, it became clear that it was useless to cool down the reactor, it was necessary to extinguish what was left of it. To remove the graphite in 40 seconds. When the fourth reactor exploded, the pieces of nuclear fuel and graphite from the reactor were scattered around. Some of it fell on the roof of the turbine hall, on the third reactor. These pieces of debris had prohibitive levels of radiation. In some places you could work for no more than 40 seconds, otherwise death. The equipment could not withstand such radiation and malfunctioned. The people, replacing one another, were shoveling off the graphite from the roof. From the words of a witness, the view of the fourth reactor from above was revealed to us. It was an incredible sight. You see, the unit was floating. It looked like all the air above it was shaking. And it smelled like... It smelled like ozone. Like in a medical room after quartz treatment. It's inexplicable. According to the most conservative estimates, the cost of eliminating the consequences of the Chernobyl accident cost the USSR more than $300 billion. More than a million people were affected to varying degrees. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant still requires money. The same shelter too is designed for 100 years. Final decommissioning of the plant is not scheduled until 2064. 10 RBMK-1000 reactors, similar to the one that exploded, continue operating. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.